good evening. <laughs> Welcome to our annual Samhain ritual for Light Club Curiosity Shop. Um, there's a lot going on tonight. It's um, Hollow Wednesday, <laughs> so uh, I welcome you and thank you for taking time out to join us for this wonderful evening. It's a good evening for this sort of thing because you definitely don't want to be outside. It's a good evening to be inside together celebrating. So, pardon me. We have a lot for this evening because I'm also going to try to fit in... Um, I did want to give you a little background on this. Around this time of the year for a ritual, we would normally be doing it outside. And in our backyard, actually the back courtyard of Light Club, um, it's a very big space. We have a really large cauldron and we usually do outdoor rituals from Beltane, May 1st, to Samhain. Samhain is the last one of the year that is done outside. So typically what is done is anyone who has studied with me in the year in a day course, they're completing it around this time of year, so we would be doing an initiation ceremony for them at, during the Samhain ritual. So, you know, not only is it um, the Great Sabbat, um, we also, it's kind of like a graduation ceremony for Light Club. Always has been for the last few years. So, there will be some people watching this tonight who perhaps aren't able to do that initiation ceremony with us so I will kind of be uh, remembering them tonight as well as our ancestors as well as our spirit guides as well as our beloved that have passed there's gonna be a lot to be remembered a lot to be thought of and um, a lot to be celebrated tonight not to mention you so I hope that if you are watching with us um, you got to see the prompt that I left for this particular ritual. If you are able and you would like to follow along with the ritual, and um, there's many, many beings that are going to be following along because this one is just obsessed with every webcast that I seem to do here, but it doesn't hurt to have a black cat. <laughs> I would uh, recommend, if you can, for every direction that we call during this ritual every element if you have something that you would like to use to represent that you know if you do have the materials if you have the wand the athame the chalice and the pentacle you know you can always do that or you can do sage or incense or feather for air candle of course for fire or anything like lava beads or anything that has been charred um, anything with a dragon on it anything that you feel would represent fire yeah, of course, over with water, you've got oils, you've got potions, you've got Florida water, you've got sprays, anything like that. And then for earth, that's another one where you have a lot of choices. You could be doing salt, you could be doing crystals, you could be doing herbs, anything you like. And if you don't have any of those things right now, or you just don't feel like running to go get them, which I don't blame you, it's that kind of a day. Um, I, of course, am always doing it for you by proxy. And um, what I always recommend is, you know, may, perhaps when I'm bringing in that element, think of something that that element represents for you and just visualize that and just see that coming in. Like maybe you have a very favorite incense that you don't have on you, but at the time when we call in air, you're going to imagine that coming in like that, that churchy resiny incense or something like that. Same thing with fire, just a, an amazing candle, you know, a favorite candle that you've ever owned or something like that. You know, just uh, use all of that. Use your senses, use your intuition, use all of that to um, help bring in that energy because your mind is so powerful, okay? Your intuition is right on. So it's just because you don't exactly have the stuff. You know, the stuff is there, right? The stuff is there to help us focus, but it doesn't mean we need it, okay? <laughs> you can have, you have all of the elements within you at all times. You have the air in your lungs, the fire is those electrical impulses that move through you, the chi energy, you know, of course, the water, obviously, and the earth, you know, we are full of minerals. So we are, and then, and then there is the spirit, so we are the perfect pentacle. So never forget that, right? So I'm sorry, but you have to move over because... I have things to do. It's very special tonight. Okay, but thank you for assisting us. So, 
I hope that the signal is good. I hope that um, you are all here and you are enjoying yourself. I hope that you have silenced your phones and made sure that you're not going to be interrupted so that you can truly celebrate and feel the energy moving with you and feel the connection of everybody watching with you. It doesn't matter what time you're watching this. Okay, I would even recommend to say that uh, you're watching it later in replay or you decide to watch it on sound itself. It does not matter. Okay, all that matters is the intention that you put behind your work your integrity, okay? your power. Right? Don't be afraid to invoke your power. You don't need me to do it. I'm just facilitating here for you. Whenever you feel something and you feel that rush of energy coming in, that is you. Okay? Acknowledge your power. So I'm going to take a few breaths. I'm going to take one more sip of my tea because it's really good. And Let's get everything ready to go. So everybody sit with me for a moment and we're gonna take a deep breath in. Slowly building the energy, ready to make magic and exhale all that heaviness of the day that you no longer need because we're ready to make a sacred safe space so we can rejuvenate, recharge, and step out renewed for the rest of the week. So, we'll start with an invocation, okay, that as always is written by our, um, our poet laureate of Light Club, Quill Forest Echo. Thank you, Quill, for this one. It's gonna be doing double duty because it will also be used for the initiation ceremony, but it's, it's that good, okay. I do the rest of the ritual, but I always love to open up with her words because I really feel that she is divinely inspired. So, which is New Year, Samhain night, full moon, blue moon, shining bright, east, south, west, and north, God and goddess, we call you forth. To join us in this joyous rite as we celebrate the year tonight, the wheel has turned the whole way round, the changes we have seen, profound. Sickness, isolation, anxiety, fear, each have affected us this year. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just gotta make sure. Okay, there we go. There we go. As we start, oops, let me move it back. I'm sorry, it's always tougher when I'm reading my own word, not reading my own words. Hold on. There we go. went all the way to the end. Let's start this again. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. And now that we have a steady internet signal, of course, what happens is my word keeps failing when I have her poem pulled up. So I don't want to start it out and then go back to it. I want to start the energy again. So we take a deep breath. And which is new year, sow and night, full moon, blue moon, shining bright, east, south, west, and north, God and goddess, we call you forth. To join us in this joyous rite as we celebrate the year tonight, the wheel has turned the whole way round, the changes we have seen profound. Sickness, isolation, anxiety, fear, each have affected us this year, so now as the veil has become thin and we take stock both without and within. We call to all who've come before, our ancestors who can reassure and help us through this troubled time, they're already yours and mine. To receive their aid, we need to ask. Only then can they complete their task and help us all to find our way as we start fresh this New Year's Day. As we move on, remember still and it harm none, do as you will. Remember too, the rule of three, what you come put out comes back to thee. Keep these in mind during our rite and have a blessed Samhain night. There we go. Okay. Well, I apologize. It's always tough because I, I don't have your words memorized. <laughs> so when the uh, word goes down, so do I. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes we have to rule. We have to be able to roll with everything. It's a good test. You know, just how badly do you want to make a sacred space? And we stick with it. That's why I loved when 
He did have some problem with signals and it went out and it came back in. Everybody was still there, right? Because we mean business. We mean to make magic tonight. And on a blessed night such as tonight, even though it's a little earlier before Samhain is coming in full, what we're doing is we're setting the stage and we're using this energy to help build and bring the week in with the proper amount of respect, with the proper amount of magic, and with the proper amount of focus on bringing in what we need and releasing what we no longer need. So, speaking of, we're going to start our circle with East. So if you are watching and you would like to follow along, you can either face towards your east or you can take out whatever represents the east for you if you happen to have it, if you have sage, if you have incense, anything, or if you just want to just make a big exhale by the way. So Here and now, we call the Watchtower of the East the Spirit of Air, the winds of intellect and imagination, swirling source of life and inspiration. We seek the open sky within the self that we breathe of freedom, clarity, and health. We call you forth to sweep the toxins from unseen places and to move blessings into our sacred spaces. Wing and feather, storm and leaf, air, we call to you. Hail and welcome. And then just take a deep breath in, feel the air element coming in, feel the inspiration of the east, feel all of that energy. Archangel Raphael, whatever you need to feel that newness and that inspiration coming into your life. And know that that is there to bring the freshness that you may not be feeling so much right now bringing in the joy and the newness. And then we will face to the south. And you'll bring out either your candle, which I am recognizing the ancestors tonight, or you have lava beads, or you have a dragon, or you just want to think about that warming feeling of passion and protection that will get us through the dark half of the year. Here and now, we call the Watchtower of the South, the spirit of fire. The flames of creativity, passion and light, dancing source of heat and flames so bright. We seek the flaming forge within that we might warm with desire and the courage to win. We call you forth to burn away what impedes the highest self and to bring positivity to the world of joy and wealth. Fire we call you forth. Hail and welcome. And then just take a deep breath in. And exhale. And know that the passion has now entered in. Know that whatever idea you have had that has been inspired by the East will now receive the action from the South to make it happen. And now you turn towards the west. And the west is the cooling, the healing, the intuition, the mystery. And I'm going to use indigo water for this one, which is also known as peace water. It has an amazing scent to it. Interesting to me. made by being prayed over three times. Mm. Oh, this is one of my best formulas <laughs> too. Maybe you have spray. 
maybe of oil, maybe of potion. I will be making the, actually the light club potions on Samhain to put out. I only make them once a year. So that's why uh, the water element, when I get to the water element, it's very special because of all that mystery and all that divination that comes in this particular element. I feel it very cutely at this time of the year. So it's also the most feminine of all the elements. So some nice nurturing energy is always most welcome at this time. Here and now, we call the Watchtower of the West the spirit of water, the fluid of infinite shapes and forms, flowing source of adaptability, emotion, and storm. I seek the purest spring within our soul that we drink deep of nourishment. Grace is our goal. We call you forth to wash away what needlessly binds and to move fluidly in this world, no longer blind. Ocean and river, ripple and rain, water we call to you. Hail and welcome. And take a nice cooling, calming breath, sitting deep within yourself. Find your mysteries and tap into the growth that will be happening from this point on, moving into the new year and your new energy. And as the calmness is entered, it's time to ground, to center, and to find your strength through the earth element. And with the earth element, maybe you have a crystal. Maybe you have some herbs. Okay, maybe you have some graveyard dirt. Maybe there's so many different ways you can do this. I do this with uh, black salt at this time of the year. I find that to be the most um, in keeping with the feeling that I have. So I start with that and then just spread it out. And then you may face to the north, and we invocate. Here and now, we call the Watchtower of the North, the Spirit of Earth. We call to the swirling dust and the forest green, to the farmer's field, the mountain's power seen. You that remain solid, stable, and strong, teach us stability with a quiet song. We call you to fashion the spirit cavern, the sacred space, root our will in your soil, and ground our purpose in this place. Boulder and gravel, Redwood and Rose, Earth we call to you, hail and welcome. And we now invoke the power of the masculine and the feminine, the Lord and the Lady, the God and the Goddess. This establishes the balancing of our energies of the yin and the yang. So may we always remember when to be active and when to be passive, when to give and when to receive. This keeps us in harmony with the universe and with our own power because both are always equal and necessary in the eyes of the universe. So we're going to start with the God energy because that provides the extra protection, that provides the strength for the sacred space in order for the woman to create within. Okay, so it's always needed both. Always acknowledge both. It gives you the balance. So. Here I invoke the symbol of our Lord, he who dwells and rules death and that which comes after, the dweller in the darkness, the husband and brother of the light. May he guard and guide us in all that we do within and without this circle. Hail and welcome. And then, now that he has come and created the space, then the lady comes in because she has to make the grand entrance. Mother Goddess, hear us as we invoke all three of your aspects, maiden, mother, and crone. Come to us threefold on this Samhain Eve as the veil between the world of the living and the world of the dead grows thin. Assist our loved ones who have gone before in returning to this earthly plane. Hail and welcome. So now we've called in all the energy, everything is smiling upon us. We have just basically put a beacon out to the universe to now start to put out the order of what, what do we want? What do we want to accomplish? What do we need to release in order to bring in? So start thinking. Samhain is a time of rebirth, a reset. So we begin the witch's new year with releasing the past, releasing obstacles, releasing negativity, releasing false beliefs in order to start fresh and anew. 
So the final turn of the wheel of the year, this is an especially powerful time for removing what no longer serves in our lives to create a clear and unobstructed pathway for our new year. So think about the direction in which you will be decisively moving forward on this new turn of the wheel of the year. Think about what it is time to let go of to allow for this new expansion. Think about what is it that you would most feel needs to go. And it has to be something that you have complete control of. It has to be something that you can release from you to make room. Don't say, oh, if this was just better, if this person or if this person. That never works. You always have to work from within, as within, so without. So if there are things in your life that are getting in your way, there is perhaps something within that if that was released, it would help to release what is without. Right. and you will feel lighter so reflect on this release with gratitude because when you are ready to release it it shows the path of your evolution so we're going to take a controlled breath and with that controlled breath when you exhale you will release this particular thing so getting ready I'm taking a deep breath in for a count of four Hold it for a moment and know that when you exhale, it is gone from your life. And just feel the cleanliness in your body. Just feel the lightness of being and know that you are different. Under this moon of Samhain, we are grateful for a new start as we heal and cleanse ourselves of the past and grow by a new light that shines upon and within us. And now I ask you, if you do happen to have a candle, handy, or you can just kind of reflect on this one right now, okay? What I'd like you to do is if you do have this flame and you have some intentions for your new year, I would like you to speak it directly into the flame. A lot of times we write it down or we think it, but I recommend that for now, because this is for the new year and uh, this is so much more crucial, I would recommend you say it out loud, even if it's just a whisper, because once you release your intention into the world, it must start the process of manifestation. Holding it in your mind, it's still brewing. Once it comes out of your body and into the universe, it starts the momentum. Okay, so speak into the flame what you want to bring into this world. By the power of three times three, as we will, so mote it be. Samhain is the time of year when all comes full circle, when the veil is the thinnest between the world of material and the spirit world. Is at this time that we ask for guidance from our spirit guides, our angels, our loved ones that have passed, and for divine messages from the universe. We are gathered in this season of endings and beginnings, when the wall between our worlds grows thin to honor our dead and living in this, our sacred space, we celebrate Samhain, the night when the old year dies. The shades of the dead walk among us, reminding us of what lies ahead. Yet with winter comes the promise of springtime and that which has died is reborn. May we reflect on our surroundings and go within. May we take the dark half of the year as a cue to enter our shadow work, as a cue to master ourselves as best we can and to re-examine, reinvent, and be ready to rise when the light returns. So mote it be. And just take a moment to reflect and to promise you to yourself. This resolution is for yourself. Promise yourself that you will prioritize your growth for this new year. you will leave this circle forever changed. On this great Sabbat, we are reborn. Our intentions against the night take sacred form. We believe in our vision and worth, and we know that what we see in our third eye can be materialized in the world. We own our magic, the light and the shadow of it. We are fearless travelers who walk boldly on the path. And by the power of three times three, as we will it, so mote it be. And now, we are ready to release 
the god and the goddess. We're ready to release the elements, all that we have called in, you know, and always release them with gratitude because they are coming in to assist you. Always show humility and gratitude for them adding their energies to yours. So for both the god and the goddess, thank you for joining our circle. Thank you for adding your energy to our magic tonight. Thank you for residing within us at all times and making our magic all the more potent for communing with you. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. Blessed be. All right, and then we go in a reverse order of the elements. So we're going to go earth, which is north, water, which is west, fire, which is south, and air, which is east. So we begin with earth. Element of earth, you have brought us your wisdom and expressed your strength. Thank you, Spirit of the North, for joining us and lending us the energies of earth. Again, stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. Blessed be. And then towards the west. Element of water, who produces emotion and intuition. You cleanse and purify our bodies with every drink. Thank you, Spirit of the West, for joining us and lending us the energies of water. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. Blessed be. And then towards the south. Element of fire, who delivers passion and creates the heat that allows us survival. Thank you, Spirit of the South, for joining us and lending us the energies of fire. Stay if you will, go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. Blessed be. And then finally to Air, who has been with us the longest. Element of Air brings us creativity, motivation, and inspiration. Thank you, Spirit of the East, for joining us and lending us the energies of Air. Stay if you will. Go if you must, in perfect love and perfect trust. Blessed be. And then we finish with, may the circle be open but unbroken. May the peace of the universe be ever in your heart. And just remember those of you watching tonight who will not be able to be with us for an initiation. I hope you took the time when you're welcoming in your new energy to think about your new state of being, your new magical name your new energy that we will be bringing into the world. And even though the circle is open, you will always be a part of Light Club and you will always be magical. And if you know the next part, the last part of this ritual, you may join with me. Abide the Wiccan law we must in perfect love and perfect trust. Eight words the Wiccan read fulfill and it harm none, do as you will. Ever mind the rule of three, what you send out comes back to thee. Follow this with mind and heart. Mary meet, Mary part, and Mary meet again. So won't it be. Right? So won't it be. So won't it be. So, <laughs> I thank you so much for joining us. I um, know that Friday night, normally we do a broadcast at 7 o'clock on Friday night. We will be doing show and spell. But, you know, as, as you know, it is um, kind of the witch's weekend this weekend. All right. We got Samhain going on. We got a lot to do. And I will be getting all of those potions ready and everything for the shop. And so there's just there's certain things, the active ingredient in all of our spell kits, all of our candles, all of our potions, everything, right? Everything. And you're going to help me this year. Everything has to be ready the night before so I can put it out on Samhain to be blessed under that full moon, which is going to be so much more potent. So I will be really working. I'll probably post some pictures, though. So, you know, check around. Particularly if you haven't joined the Light Club Curiosity community yet, I tend to put a little bit more stories and personal stuff up on that page. So if you get a chance to join that group, if you haven't yet, please do. And uh, just remember that uh, we will be open all weekend. You know, you can come in to visit Light Club if you need to. Um, you know, we're going to be open on Samhain and I'm super excited about that. So if any of you have a chance to come by and visit us and share your magic with us, we would love to see you. We'll have readers all weekend. And just remember to take time for yourself to celebrate, honor your own magic. And as always, blessed be.